burst. What's up, guys? Uh, today we are collecting some uh, baby boas. So I uh, was on my way to work and uh, I got an urgent call like uh, some babies dropped. And uh, so I changed plans. And uh, yeah, before we get started, um, it's time to enjoy our wonderful intro and uh, to use this time. Um, uh, how to say this? And while you are uh, enjoying the intro, um, use the time to subscribe to this channel if you haven't to. Uh, it really means a lot. So, let's get started. This beauty, by the way, is uh, a 13 year old female. Um, she's uh, been born um, at uh, VPI. We imported them uh, a group of triple head VPI snow glow back then in uh, 2009, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's crazy how thin. Uh, she looks now uh, when the babies are out. She's been huge before. For those of you uh, who are uh, seeing or witnessing a birth, a boa for the first time, um, you probably notice that the female makes some strange movements with their head. So it's like they are putting it on the side and they are scratching uh, on the bedding or on the ground. Um, they are totally fine and this is just to kind of help the babies out of their sack. So um, they start moving like this within probably the next three days. Um, but uh, you don't have to worry if they are doing it. All right, so now we can start with the fun part. Um, I like to uh, put on some gloves and um, and then we can start uh, collecting the babies. As you can see, um, the babies are covered with bedding. Um, it seems it's a, like a, a big. Uh, it seems like it's a big litter, um, but so far I only spotted a few. So when one of your females gave birth, um, you need to prepare just a little bit before you uh, start collecting the babies. Uh, what I have here is a large tub. Usually, I use a, a tub that is higher, like this one here, um, because uh, it is not that easy for the for the babies to uh, remove, uh, to remove, to disappear. And because especially uh, if the female gave birth quite a while ago, uh, the babies are already pretty active, and uh, they definitely start to uh, getting out of the box if it's not high enough. Today we are using a flat one, um, so uh, Wolfgang can uh, take better pictures for you, um, but that's the only reason. So uh, I have a tub here um, and we put in some uh, paper towels um, and first of all I want to make it soaking wet. So um, just so the paper, because the babies after birth they are already wet as well. Uh, and slimy uh, so they don't stick. So the paper towel, we, we make it wet. And um, and also, this time, this big uh, tub here is to uh, remove the female. Um, even if you think you know your female pretty well, uh, I'm always a bit, uh, I'm always a bit cautious um, because after birth, you know, I mean, my wife uh, gave birth to our three beautiful daughters and after birth, you, you want to uh, be careful uh, handling or dealing with her. So the first baby is a VPI Snow and uh, a really nice one. This is a VPI Snow Glow. Um, you can tell that uh, the babies are really good developed because um, you barely see um, the, the yolk um, 
here you can you can spot it a bit but the others uh, they already uh, soaked it up pretty well and also uh, you barely have any uh, what is it belly belly cord we need to look it up uh, but um, that's also a good sign if you don't have a lot of the stuff left So this tiny baby here, when you compare it with, with this animal, it looks like a twin. That is, uh, if they are this small compared to the rest of the babies, um, that's probably been, been a twin. Always a bit challenging if they're gonna make it or not. Ghost. Come a bit closer so this is a nice example this baby is still kind of sitting in its sack a bit difficult to see but um, if you have something like this you can just easily remove it and kind of peel off uh, this whole bunch of slime and uh, if it's this thin you can also just uh, pull it off it starts bleeding a little bit but it's uh, no big deal at all it stops within a few seconds so um, yeah nothing to worry about this is what a slug looks like by the way so in case you have never seen a uh, not first fertilized egg um, this is what it looks like uh, this year we had uh, quite a bunch litter containing only out of slugs so that's definitely not what you want to see so i believe this is the last one of the litter and here you can see what it looks like if you still have a bit of the yolk sac attached. So in this case, it is very, very thin. So you, you can easily remove it or leave it for one more day. Um, if it's this thin, I like to, to just take it off because usually this just gonna get uh, pretty dry. <laughs> all right so we collected all of the babies uh, we had like a handful of slugs and uh, one stillborn and i believe that's a that's a twin of the little baby i've uh, already shown you um, i'm very very happy with uh, this litter um, we now gonna find out how many babies we are talking about um, but for sure we have a really beautiful VPI Snow Glow, VPI Snow, VPI Sun Glow, Head uh, Enery, 100% um, Head Enery, um, Ghost Head VPI, uh, VPI Head Snow and Enery Head Snow. And like only very few Triple Head uh, VPI Snow Glow and Double Head VPI Snow Babies. So um, couldn't get any better than this. Uh, it's uh, been a breeding from a VPI snow glow to a triple head VPI snow glow female, by the way. As I mentioned, uh, the male is, uh, has been born at our place uh, many years ago, and uh, the female, 13 year old female, born at uh, VPI and imported back in 2009, I believe. So, really, really happy with the outcome. So. Let's have a, a look at the babies and what I do right now, I have, this is like, I always have one tub I'm using um, when I collect the babies out of the cage. That is like the first tub um, I'm using and it gets always pretty dirty, all the slime, all the blood, uh, etc. So the, the paper towel is immediately dirty. Um, so once we collected them, we're going to replace them once again to the kind of final setup for the next two weeks 
and this looks always the same. We have a water bowl in the middle, um, we have uh, two hiding places. We are offering the hiding places in case um, an animal likes to use them. Usually they are like a big uh, bulk uh, in, in one of the corners, uh, mostly uh, on the back side of the tub. Um, but yeah, we still like to offer it. Some babies like to uh, use the heights. Um, anyways, we don't put the a water bowl in a corner because they have the tendency to um, to, to build a pile um, of babies in the, in the corner. So that is why we are placing them in the middle so no one gets uh, duck underwater. So let's get started. So here once again you can see that's still sitting kind of a bit in its sack. So just begin at the, at the beginning of the snake and you can just gently pull it, pull it away. Everything is fine. So these parts here, for uh, example, I don't remove them. I, I do nothing about it. Um, this is totally fine to leave it where it is. Um, it's gonna uh, get drier within the next days and then just falls off. So like this, that's totally fine. Just leave it like it is and it's, it's gonna falls off on its own. So it's 38 babies, together with one still and a bunch of slugs, we are talking about a litter of like 45 eggs in total. Still very satisfied with everything, it's a, a pretty big litter, but not unusual for a female uh, this old, uh, especially um, because she already had um, like 2-3 litters at least. One last example, what it looks like if uh, it's not a hundred percent been soaking up and um, just leave it like this pay attention uh, to it for the next uh, two three days and um, everything gonna be all right as I, as I said um, this is what it looks like pretty messy um, just uh, after uh, collecting the babies um, you really need to pay close attention, you need to clean this tub uh, of the babies um, several times within the next days um, because there's still uh, quite a lot of blood and slime etc that's uh, falling off and also as you can tell uh, this is not the usual size we have of a litter so we still we also gonna split this litter um, in two tubs um, because it's that many animals uh, shouldn't be um, in such a tub for a long uh, period of time. However, uh, this setup is only for the, maybe the first two or three weeks. So what we are doing uh, now is we keep them on paper towel, uh, soaking wet uh, paper towel, uh, just as long as it takes uh, till they get out of their first chat. Once the first chat is done, we're gonna separate the babies and every uh, baby gets their own place. All right, that's it uh, for today. I hope you uh, really enjoyed this video. Uh, hopefully uh, you can uh, take away uh, a bit um, you didn't knew before and it's uh, helpful for you. Um, if you enjoyed it, um, please smash the uh, like button it doesn't hurt uh, but it uh, is I really really uh, enjoy seeing that you are uh, appreciating the videos all right take care see you soon bye bye